guys welcome back to the channel and to this brand new update video first of all i'm sorry if my voice sounds a bit raspy today but i think i am losing my voice so i apologize for that so today's update is about the halloween event that is live now in the game and like i said on my previous video it has been years since i was last online during halloween so this is all new to me and I am actually very excited because it's kind of like a brand new update for me and looking at the post on the official website I can see there's a lot to do so I will try to do one thing at a time and maybe just maybe I won't get lost while filming this video <gasps> oh my gosh my home stables is being invaded by horse ghosts that's so cool now I want a horse ghost Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. So what can we do during this spooky season? There are many things to do at Galloper's Keep. Throw soul shards in the Keep's cauldron to get rewards, experience moments from Galloper Thompson's past in a scary race, the popular Scarecrow Hill race is back again, enter a magic portal to try a brand new haunted trail ride, ooh that sounds cool, explore several cool Halloween shops, Four magical horses are hoping to find a forever home in your stable. Two spooky pets are available to get during a limited time. Get magical powders to transform your starter horse. We've added a brand new storage pumpkin. Go to the giant pumpkin in the middle of the keep for easy access to your wardrobe. So I am making my way to the Galloper's Keep because that's where all the fun is, including Idris that decided to crash the party. So we have to go and see what he's up to. It's pretty easy to find the portals, they are all around Jorvik as you can see. You can check your map to see where the nearest portal is to you. And to go to the keep you don't need to be a star rider, it's open to everyone. So that's really cool. Oh wow, this looks awesome. The environment completely changed once I got close to the portal. It's so dark. Okay, let's go over to the portal and cross over to the other side. And here we are at the Galloper's Keep and Idris is definitely up to no good. And by the way, I hope I am pronouncing his name correctly now because I used to call him Idris. Uh, what was that? Well, is that the bridge? <gasps> oh my gosh, it's falling apart. Right, so this is the center of the keep and this looks so cool. Okay, so over here at the center is the cauldron where we can trade charts for a set. There's 12 pieces to collect and this time the shards are pink. So if you save shards from last year or from the year before that, it won't work in this cauldron because they were of different colors. They were orange and green, I think. I wasn't here, so I don't know. I'm just reading what says on a post. You can find shards by looking for tornadoes around Jorvik. And this is me when I found my first tornado and as you can see they are quite big and very hard to miss. You can see them from a good distance so yep that's pretty good. These tornadoes they spawn at the top of every hour. This one was up for 20 minutes. It started at 7 p.m uk time and this spawned at 20 past 7 but I heard players saying that the time they stay up isn't always the same. It can vary between I don't know, I'm gonna say 10 to 20 minutes then? I'm not sure yet. When you reach the tornado, you will have to talk with a spirit and it will release 20 shards for you to collect. They will spread around the area. And once you do that, once you collect the shards, the soul will be restored and you get one shard. If you feel like looking for tornadoes is a waste of time or if you don't have the time to look for them, there are other ways to win shards. 
by taking part in the races around Galloper Skip. During your haunted trail ride adventure, if you are lucky, you might get one or two shards while doing the trail ride. And also by doing the pumpkin game at Jasper's farm. So yeah, that's how you farm your shards. I will post an update video maybe next week when I have the complete set from the cauldron. So for now, let's move on. The Halloween shops are also at the center of the keep. This one is where you can buy the two brand new sets as well as other clothes from previous years. Over here we have the magical powders and there's a skeleton, a zombie and a mummy powder. You can only use them on your starter horse by the way. And that is why I am riding Coralist today because I knew these powders would be here. And I am going to buy the skeleton powder because that's my favorite. To be honest, my horse looks so cool with this powder and I don't have anything to wear to match. I really have to buy something because I feel so out of place. Okay, this is going to take a while, so I will come right back once I decided which set to buy. Okay, you guys, so I am back, finally. I don't know how long it took me to choose, but I am very picky when it comes to outfits in the game. So I went all out and bought one of the new outfits and this is the Willow Whisker set just because I love cats. So I bought this set here in the game but you can also get this by buying star coins. There's a special bundle in the store if you top up 5k or 2k star coins you will also get this set and the new skeleton cat pet. I am not topping up on star coins just yet but if you are then this is a great bundle. Oh, and there's a third star over here. <gasps> oh, it's masks. They look awesome. These look a lot like the masks of Venice. I am sure they were inspired by them. Okay, so I have to move away from the shops because I don't want to spend any more star coins. Not today, at least. So let me move on. And let's go upstairs and speak with Idris. Little dove, how delightful that you could join my party. Magnificent place, isn't it? I was just walking the space between worlds when I found this chateau, floating between eternities. So grand, so majestic, but so dreary. Not being able to stand the negative emotions held up within these walls, I decided to live on it up with a party of dreams. Oh, here he comes. What has he done? The old headless man objected, so I put him in timeout to cool his neck. He put her... What? <laughs> It just brings the entire place down with this looming presence and creepy breathing. A party is no party without guests and I am hoping that you can search for some more guests over your week. Look for the ghostly tornado mark in the sky at the top of the hour and bring the soul shards you find here and you will bring all kinds of award spirits to our beautiful party. I tell you, this guy is absolutely crazy. He actually put a headless horseman in time out. In prison. Okay, I can already see what next week's update is going to be. Anyway, what I'm gonna do next is I will try the races available at the Galloper Skip and I think we have two races and then we have the new Haunted Trail Ride. So I am going to start with this one over here. Enter the portal and race for Galloper Thompson's most chilling memories, if you dare. So as you can see by doing these daily races, you not only get chillings and XP for your horse, but you also get shards. Oh, we are the Headless Horseman? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's see what is going on over here. Okay. So this is Thompson's Nightmares, his worst nightmares. So everything on the floor is bad, so avoid all the sparkly stuff on the floor. Oh, is this Mistfall? This looks a lot like Mistfall. I think it is Mistfall, isn't it? <laughs> what on earth is that? Is that a giant chipmunk? <laughs> I think that was the most terrifying thing I've seen during this race so far <laughs> seeing a giant chipmunk just appear out of nowhere okay i was sure i was gonna fall there but i didn't okay i'm done that was awesome that was awesome i mean that chipmunk I was not expecting that. 
So let's go over to the next race and this is the Scarecrow race. Let's speak with this friendly Scarecrow. Scarecrows are one of my worst nightmares. I, I hate them. And once again you will get free soul shards once you complete this race as well as 150 XP for your horse. Um, okay, so I got the shards. Am I supposed to go down the hill again? I think I am. Okay, that's another one done. Okay, so over here is the last one. Well, this is not a race. This is the trail ride, isn't it? Oh no, this is the pumpkin. Oh, the pumpkin hunt. Okay, so this is at Jasper's farm. I am not going to do this yet, but as you can see here, there is rewards for you to collect. So this is a game that is happening at Jasper's pumpkin farm. You can go to Golden Hills Valley through this portal or by just using a trailer from wherever you are. I will do this later though because I really want to try the trail ride. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so this is where we start, near the golden leaf stables. And I think I have to follow the blue flames. I'll just follow the blue flames. Star Stable was recommending a younger players to play with other friends or to ask an adult to play with them. <laughs> and I think it's because of this looming environment oh okay jump scares okay that's gonna be jump scares <laughs> I guess that's why they were telling the younger players to ask an adult to play with them and now we have bats and a skeleton there's something else over here oh it's a vampire Mr. Campbell's post is covered in bats and rats. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, I don't know where to go. Oh, wait. Oh, is that Mika? Uh -huh. Hey, Alessia. I figured I wouldn't be the only one waiting to explore Golden Hills on this dark, gloomy evening. It's freezing out here, isn't it? Will you join us? I was just telling Igor here my travels to Dino Valley. It really is such a mysterious place, a land of many secrets. Well, I'm gonna go with I wouldn't mind resting here. Come and have a seat then. We have the campfire to keep us warm. Okay, so I guess she's going to tell me some kind of spooky story now. In the freezing lands of Dino Valley lurks a beast that has driven people away for too long. People have found footprints the size of tree trunks in the snow, leading into deep dark caves they dare not venture into. The footprints are often right outside the Ice Gate as if the monster had been pacing back and forth. Some people say it's just a bear, but can a bear hurl boulders down a mountaintop? Can a bear eat three horses in one meal? It's not a bear, it's a yeti. That's right, Igor. Swimming beneath the frozen lake, it smashes its enormous furry claws through the ice and drags its prey into the icy waters. You may think yetis are harmless, but if that's so, then why did this yeti drive the colters out of their home? Not much is known about the reclusive colters that lived in Dino Valley. They had to leave their land and lock themselves behind the Ison Gate and have refused to open it since. Whatever they had seen in Dino Valley had scared them too much to risk opening the gate again. While it has been many years since this colossal beast has been seen roaming the Lost Valley, the people of Cape West Fishing Village speak in hushed whispers about a creature that has recently begun to haunt Golden Hills Valley. Perhaps the Yeti of long ago has found a new home among these very woods. Be safe out there. I'm not sure if that's just a story or if it's supposed to be some kind of warning. Am I gonna find a Yeti <laughs> during my trail ride? <laughs> okay, so let's continue. Oh, it's a ghost horse. Oh no, it's gone. Oh, there's another horse over here. Is that a horse? Oh no, it's a dog. Oh, it's gone. Uh, oh wow, this looks so cool. Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's a giant cat over there! Can I go near him? Can I pet him? You're... what? You were caught by the beast? Huh? Wait, so that's the beast Mika was talking about? Okay, so I suppose no petting the cat. I'm not allowed to go near the cat, so... Why is that 
What is this? <gasps> oh no! Uh, okay. So I'm supposed to run from the cat. Is is he gonna follow me? Okay, kitty. Please don't come after me. Just stay there. Yeah. I can hear him again. No, 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 no. <gasps> oh no, no, no! Please leave me alone. Can I stop here? Can I stop here? Is he gonna stop? Where is he? No, no, no! Oh my gosh! I'm actually getting angry now. Can you please just stay there? Please, kitty, don't eat me. I don't taste really good. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> okay, I think he's not coming this way. <laughs> good, kitty, you stay there. Yeah, I think I'm done. Yeah, that was something. Oh, wait, is that a soul shard? <gasps> oh, that's a soul shard! Soul shard reward. Oh, that's cool. So I think I was lucky and I found one soul shard. Okay, so the haunted trail ride is complete. I loved it. I really do. It's kind of spooky, especially if you are a younger player, but it's not too bad. If you're scared, just ask a friend to go with you or maybe an adult to help you. <laughs> okay, so I am standing at the center of the keep and I am going to go and visit this island over here. I think this is where the horses are being sold. And I'm gonna start from the left. Over here we have wood deer and pepita. This one is wood deer and he is a blind horse. On the official post it says that wood deer is blind and he won't mind a guiding hand to help him. Both Wood Deer and Pepita cost 850 star coins and their level restriction is 1 and they are both tolerant to the cold weather. Moving on to the right side, over here we have the brand new horse to my left and this one over here is the horse that looks just like a uh, Galloper Thompson and I think this was the very first horse released during Halloween. I could be wrong, but I think this is the very first one. And that is why the price is so low, I guess. It's 599 star coins. And then we have the newest horse, and this is called Tombhoof. The cost is 950 star coins, and the level restriction is also 1, so that's, that's pretty cool. I was thinking there was going to be a higher restriction, but it does make sense, because I think you don't need to be a high level to come to the keep. Anyone can come to the keep. I do love the new horse and I don't have any of the Halloween horses just yet, but I don't know. I don't I don't wanna spend any more star coins today. Maybe I will buy one of the horses before the event is over, but I'm not gonna buy one today. Okay, so moving on, we have the pets over here. We have the Skelly Cat, so you can buy this one by 350 star coins, or you can buy the star coins bundle and acquire the pet, the outfit, and of course star coins. Next we have the Bewitching Black Cat and it also costs 350 star coins and this one is my favorite. And then we have the Spooky Sprout and this is very popular amongst players I think because I've seen plenty of people carrying one of these in their saddlebags <laughs> and they are quite funny so I can see why they are so popular. So yeah, this is where you can buy your Halloween pets. Okay guys, I feel like this video is super long already and I will stop here for today and it's getting pretty late where I am, so I really have to stop now. I will be posting a few more videos from this Halloween event because I'm having so much fun and I still want to try the Castle Ghost Train ride, Eve's Pumpkin Hunt in the Castle Cellar and of course the Pumpkin Game. So keep an eye out for those videos. Until next week, I hope you guys have a nice weekend and I will see you soon. Bye, riders!